This is the CBC Television Network. The New York Giants are being introduced. At center, number 55 is Ray Wyseka, 6'1", 230, from Northwestern. The right guard, number 66, is Jack Stroud. He is 6'1", 235 pounds, from Tennessee. Number 62 at left guard is Darrell Dest. He is a 245-pounder from North Carolina State. Number 53 at right tackle is Greg Larson. He's a rookie, 6'2", 240, from Minnesota. Number 79 at left tackle is Rosie Brown. He is 255 pounds from Oregon State. Number 80 at right end is Joe Walton, 205-pounder from Pittsburgh. And number 85 is the left end, Bill Schaffner, 185 pounds from Baylor. Number 44 is Kyle Roth, the right halfback, 200-pounder from SMU. Number 29 is the fullback, Alex Webster. He is a 220-pounder from North Carolina State. Number 28 is the left halfback, Joel Wells, 198 pounds from Clemson. And the quarterback is number 14, Y.A. Tuttle, 195 pounder from Louisiana State University. Those are the New York Giants. So there go the Giants, and we'll have now the introduction of the hometown Green Bay Packers. The center, number 51, is Jim Ringo, a 235-pounder from Syracuse. Number 75 is the right guard, Boris Gregg, a 250-pounder from SMU. The left guard is all full Fred Thurston, number 63, from Valparaiso, 250-pounder. Right tackle number 78 is Norm Masters, 250 pounds from Michigan State. The left tackle number 76 is Bob Skaronsky, 250 pounds from Indiana. Number 88 is the right end Ron Kramer, 230 pounder from the University of Michigan. The left end is number 85, Max McGee, 205 pounder from Tulane. Flanker back is number 86, Boyd Dollar, 220 pounder from Colorado and on leave from the Army. The left half is Paul Horning, number 5, 215-pounder from Notre Dame and on leave from the Army. The fullback is Jim Taylor, number 31, 215-pounder from LSU. And the quarterback is Bart Starr, number 15, a 200-pounder from the University of Alabama. There are the Green Bay Packers, repeat champions of the Western Conference. We've had the starting lineup. We'll be set for the opening kickoff of today's game in just a moment. From uh, Fort Riley, Kansas, to continue preparations, for this big championship game, field lights are on. The field itself in perfect condition as we have a ground view. Look at 35 Bobby Gators and 28 Joel Wells who await Agajanian's kick. The minute that toe hits the football, the clock starts and the game is underway. And here's Agajanian's boot. It's going to the far side. It's fielded there by Joel Wells. He's up to the 20, now the 25, then the 30, and he's brought down there and hard. It appeared that the Giants might try to let that ball go out of bounds, and it caused a little mix-up on the part of the Packer uh, kicking team coming up field as Ray Nitschke, number 66 of Illinois, made the tackle for the Green Bay Packers. But no score in the game, 10 minutes, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. A booming punt into the wind as Wells has it on the 10. Wow, what a punt as Elijah pit stop number 28, the receiver, Joel Wells as a marker, is down. George Rennix, number 52, that's Dick Lynch, number 22, and let's see what the penalty will be. Looks like a uh, perhaps a procedure penalty against the Green Bay Packers as Rennix now comes back to the line of scrimmage, which was the 35. He's in the vicinity now of the 30, and here he is with a procedure signal against Green Bay and, of course, accepted by the New York Giants. So it will be a fourth down coming up, fourth down and six from about the 30-yard line. Dowler's punt was a honey. It came all the way from his own 26 to the Giant 10. There, Dowler on the left, taking into about a 12-mile-per-hour wind coming out of the southwest. Again, he gets off a good one. This one about 15 yards shorter at the 24. Morrison has it. 
and is down at the 30. And again, it's Elijah Pitts, that speedster, the rookie. Number 22 in the dark jersey that was in on the tackle. So the New York Giants get the ball for the second. Is Dan Curry. Here are the Giants. Third and ten from the Green Bay 46. There's a long pass. Kyle Rowe is there. Looking back into the sun, which is a little on the hazy side today. Kyle had run a beautiful pass pattern and couldn't hold off the ball. Rowe recent drive room having been married Thursday night in Pennsylvania. Up looking on number 70, 36 for star number 15. To Paul Hurley. And Green Bay has its initial first down of the ball game and you can see why Paul Hornet was for Green Bay. With a second down and five at the Giant 20. Two men going deep. Parker is down. Interference. An automatic first down on pass catching interference. Uh, Boyd Dowler, the intended receiver, and Erich Barnes was a little aggressive in trying to knock down the pass. And with 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter here at Green Bay, it is a first and goal to go for Green Bay at the New York Giants' seven-yard line. No score. All right, Bart Starr now asks for silence for this partisan crowd as the ends are in close. Down to the near side. That is Jim Taylor of LSU. And has averaged over five yards a carry this year with Lynch 22. In on the play for New York, along with number 70, Sam Hoffman Scott 82. There was very little advance on the play, so it'll be second down and goal. In the this drive starting on the 20, using up 11 plays to get to this point. Primarily a running game, which we all expected, and the Packers have the best. As we look at five, Horning 31, Taylor. Dollar and McGee are set apart on the second and goal from the seven. Cross back and goal, Horning. Now we'll try for the point after with Bart Star holding. And you saw that it was good. So it's a seven to nothing ball game with 14 minutes and 56 seconds left in the first half here at City Stadium in Green Bay. Thing from their own 30 for the Green Bay 46 and then reports the punt. Cup Packers as the draw play goes to Alec Webster, who is across the 30-yard line. <laughs> Dave Hanner, 79 in on the play, along with the deep man from Southern California, Willie Wood. Alec Webster, the 29, number three rusher in the NFL, comes back to the huddle as Y.A. Tittle now. Call signal, the Giants have advanced the ball to the 30, and it's a third down and five with Green Bay leading. 7 to nothing. 13 minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first half. 66. Green Bay is Misty in at linebacker now. As Fiddle goes back to throw. It is deflected and intercepted. And you see number 66, and to show you how big and fast. The linebackers are in the National Football League, you will recall, he was running with Livingston. Off to the far side now is Dollar, third and ten for the Packers from the Giants, 34, McGee to the near side. Mark Starr, a quick pass, look in to Ron Kramer. McGee to the near side. Kramer is put away. Third and five, a pass play, and it's... Touchdown, Green Bay!
Bart Starr threading the needle to Floyd Dowler of Colorado, number 86. And the Packers have taken a 13 to nothing lead with a little less than 11 minutes remaining in the first half and Horning can make it 14 with Starr holding. The kick is up. Good. They're climbing on the field with the score. Green Bay 14 and New York nothing. Willie Davis. There you see Nitsky 66 as the New York Giants. Now have the ball. Second down and 10 from their own 33. Tittle is back. Throwing to Kyle Roy. It's intercepted by Grimminger. Henry Grimminger intercepts. And 10 now. Green Bay from the Giants. 25. The pitch to Taylor. And Fred Thurston blocking beautifully again for Taylor. And Masters in on the play blocking too. As Taylor now is at about the New York Giant 21 as Lynch forced him out. It'll be a second down. And now the Packers with a second down and nine are at the Giant 14. There's a pass to Ron Kramer. Score touchdown. Horning's point after is good. Lamb out of the field with the score. Green Bay 21 and New York nothing. Two minutes and 22 seconds to go. The score 21 to nothing is Connerly on the draw to Webster. Blocking Ray Witeka, number 55 and 79, comes to the far side and Rote is a slot back as Connerly wants to throw. Out there is Kyle Rote. Kyle. And the ball, and the Giants have a first down at the Green Bay Packer, 15. John Simak covering on the play as Kyle Roach makes a fine catch from Charlie Connerly, and the Giants have their deepest penetration at the Green Bay, 15. Their offensive formation uh, that time was different than anything they'd used this year with Roach as a slot back, Walton a near side split end. There's timeout on the field with the score Green Bay 21 and New York nothing. The 29th National Football League World Championship game in Green Bay, Wisconsin. With two minutes and 45 seconds to go in the first half, Green Bay 21, New York nothing. The Giants on a 35-yard pass play now have a first and 10 on the Green Bay. 15, Wells and King of the setbacks. Road is again in the slot. The give is to King. King powers inside the Green Bay 10. As Nitsky, 66, Quinlan, 83, Quinlan of Michigan State. In on the tackle as Roosevelt Brown, Watt, Dalton, Walton are tight. Webster. Hit high by Nitschke, number 66 of Wells and Webster, the setbacks. Rote is a flanker back to the near side. And a hit back to Barry to the play. So it'll be a fourth down coming up. So on the Giants going for it. They give us to Gators. Gators, they want to throw to Kyle Rote. Kyle Rote was wide open, but the pass was We're replacing Jim Taylor. And Moore is... Somewhat of a slot back as Horning carries. The blocking is tremendous, and Horning runs to his own 37. Jim Patton makes the tackle for New York, number 12. Packers first and 10 from their own 37. Bart Starr, the quarterback. And Horning again. The setbacks. The Packers with a first and 10 from their own 47, about 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Star getting plenty of time complete to Ron Kramer. Uh, Bart Star will hold an angle from the far side to the near side. Here's the kick. It is up. Wait. 
Hughes in the path of their play arrangement. for the second half kickoff in This is Lindsay Nelson with Chris Schenkel here at City Stadium in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and the Lake Band from Milwaukee still performing here at halftime. Both teams are back on the field along the sideline. While the Lake Band is completing its halftime show, you and a very fine halftime performance it is, perhaps we should explain for the benefit of fans who have uh, been sending a few wires here about the manner in which the Green Bay Packers got the ball on the 20-yard line just before the end of the first half. The line of scrimmage with the six and Gators overthrew. Kyle wrote in the end zone, and the ball was brought out to the 20 in the National Football League, an incompletion. On fourth down, in the end zone, is a touchback, and the ball comes out to the 20 and not to the line of scrimmage. That is the rule in the National Football League. Both teams back on the field here now, and the band still on uh, the goal line with uh, another number yet to play also. However, they are marching them off as the teams are ready to play football, and as we start the second half of the ball game, it's the Green Bay Packers 24 and the New York Giants nothing. Giants are going to be kicking off here because you'll recall that the Giants won the toss at the start of the ball game and elected to receive so at the start of this half it is the Packers who get the option and it is Pat Summerall who is putting the ball down in the kicking key to kick off for the New York Giants. This is Summerall's first appearance in this ball game this afternoon. The deep men are Tom Moore number 25 and Herb Adderley number 26 deep for the Green Bay Packers to receive the kickoff. The Green Bay Packers having dominated the first half of this ball game and leading by a score of 24 to nothing. That hand is for the late man from Milwaukee as they march off the field. In the first half, the New York Giants got only one first down rushing, two first downs passing, and one first down by penalty. The Giants picked up only 35 yards rushing against the Green Bay defense. The Packers had seven first downs rushing, five passing, one by penalty for 13 first downs. They had 101 yards rushing and 106 yards passing. All right, the kickoff, Pat Summerall. It's going to be short. It's on the 20, and it's picked up at the 20 yard line, and returns up past the 35. Star palm the ball for a moment, running it out of the pocket, out of the 40, the 45, to the 50, and it's Mike Star going to the 41 yard line, fumble the ball. It's picked up by Jimmy Patton, and Patton is running it to the 40. And he is being pulled down by Greg on the far side of the field for his Greg number 75. And apparently uh, things are going to proceed from right here. As the ball has been moved back to the 35-yard line. It is first down. And 15 yards to go as the chain is now extended. All right, this is Paul Harning. That's first and out in front of me. Catch him Connerly has the football. He is swinging it out to Webster. Webster can have it away from Willie Davis, number 87. And so Davis, number 87, with help. A tight end, a split about three yards. Connerly retreating the throw. Looks for Schaffner. And Seth throws to Walden, cutting across. 
and Joe Walden came across with the diving catch at the 50 yard line. He took the linebacker Bill Forrester, number 71 out there with him. So it was Schaffner going deep and Walden cutting across. And the pass went to Walden at the 50. Not enough for the first down. Cut. As Boyd Dollar will do the kicking. Gets this one off. A long, high, spiraling kick. Morrison drops it at the 25. Chases it around. Scramble for it. And it's recovered by the Green Bay Packers. White Star has the ball throwing, and it is incomplete into the hands of Erich Barnes, who bounces the ball on the turf. Erich Barnes, number 49, guys defensive left halfback. Pass was intended for Paul Horning, who was swinging by him. And it simply goes as an incomplete pass. More than three. Horning stick is up, and it's good. Green Bay Packers 27 and the New York Giants nothing. Dallas on the line at the right and McGee is flanked to the left side. This is Paul Horning throwing and it's incomplete to Max McGee. Joe Marson and Dick Lynch covering. All right, Starr is retreating to throw. Throws to Kramer and it's a touchdown. with Joe Morrison and he went around and Kramer slipped out on the ice off in the corner. Kramer slipped on the ice after he left the field. He got up there on that hard slip. It is up. And it's good. Offside against the Giants at that point was refused because it is good and there's time out on the field with the score of the Green Bay Packers 34 and the New York Giants nothing. About a minute and a half remaining to be played in the third quarter here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Schaffner slips to the left side, rose flank right. Tittle retreating the throw. And he throws to Schaffner, his first catch of the day. Dimack number 27 is there. By Tittle slipping as he started back for the wall, so it is simply going to be grounded back there. Schaffner had... Tittle hits him, and he is hit immediately by Willie Wood, number 24. Schaffner and Tittle are roommates, incidentally, on the road. So the ball goes to the 31-yard line. That's going to make it third down and eight yards to go. Third and eight for the Giants. And there's the gun. That's the end of the third quarter with the score of the Green Bay Packers 34 and the New York Giants nothing. Now they move King up into the slot as they widen Walton out. Little retreating. And he can't get back. Henry Jordan. And there along with Dave Hanner, number 79. Bill Quinlan, number 83. By a Tittle running the attack now, number 14 for the New York Giants. Throws a long pass to Schaffner. Whitten has the football. Jesse Whitten is intercepted. And Schaffner is riding along his back to pull him down. You saw Tarnak, number 27, get into the act. The spot is going to be marked where the interception occurred. And the Green Bay Packers take over at their own 38-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, I doubt if uh, anybody will see a better game played by an individual team that the Green Bay Packers are showing to millions. Can Tom Morris come out now for the Green Bay Packers? Paul Hunting still in the other running back position. Jim Taylor carrying it on the draw. And Taylor finds an opening. Goes to the 30-yard line. Comes to the outside. And he is not the 15-yard line. And he is being run out of bounds by Erich Barnes, number 49. Star swinging it out to Paul Hunting. Clock is out in front of the screen. Horning going to the 12-yard line. Majulewski coming up on the tackle. Bart Starr retreating. Going to the corner. And it is incomplete. Intended for Ron Kramer, number 88. Joe Morrison covering over there. Paul Horning kicking. It's up, and it's good. 
So they are time out on the field with the score of the Green Bay Packers, 37 and the New York Giants, nothing. That's gone to San Francisco, of course, now the baseball Giants. It is Grimminger incomplete. It was intended for Road, and Grimminger sort of leaned over and tried to grab it and couldn't hang on. Grimminger's number 46. But none greater than this unit they have on the field right now, here this afternoon. All right, shotgun formation for the Giants. First time this afternoon, direct pass situation. And so Tittle gets it, back back to throw. And he overthrew Hall, and it is intercepted on the far side by Adderley. Herb Adderley, number 26 to Michigan State, is yet a bargain. Going to the outside, Adderley to the 20. Still going, and he gets to the 16-yard line. Herb Adderley intercepted. Mickey Walker made the tackle. And the main to be played in this small game. Roach simply keeps it on the court of Agnes. Just about the line of scrimmage slipped down, and now they can let the clock run out if they wish. Andy Robicelli made that last tackle. The clock is running out, and they're going to let it run out. They're not making any attempt to huddle. The crowd is started on the field. The players are started for the dressing room. The gun is started. The ball game's over, and the Green Bay Packers have won the championship. Seeing the Giants trying to get to the tunnel to get to the dressing room. They had started before the gun. The Green Bay Packers trying to get into that tunnel too. Strangely enough, the announcement was made that the goalposts would be protected. Fans were asked not to try to tear them down, and this is about the quietest goalpost situation I have ever seen.